fuck it, we're ranking Mario Kart 8 tracks. So, let's start off with DK Jungle. I'm not the biggest fan of DK Jungle, I think it's alright. I think DK Jungle is... It's just okay, I think... I said I think, I think, I think. DK Jungle isn't extraordinary. I think it's a lot of fun a couple of times, but I feel like it doesn't really have a super big draw for me. It's not a terrible course by any means, but I, it's just okay. I'm going to throw it in C tier. Music Park is wonderful. It is one of my favorite courses from Mario Kart 7, and I'm glad they brought it back for Mario Kart 8. That's going in A tier. I love all the little music gimmicks. I love drifting across the pianos and the xylophones. It's wonderful. You're going in A tier. Piranha Plant Slide. This thing was called Piranha Plant Pipeway in the UK, and that is an infinitely better name. I have no idea why it's called Piranha Plant Slide here. You lose the alliteration. I've complained about this in an old video, like, way back, but it, it annoys me. That being said, the course itself is pretty fun. I I wouldn't pick it if it was presented to me, like, compared to a lot of other courses in Mario Kart 8, but it's still a lot of fun, and I wouldn't be opposed to playing it. You're going in B tier. Bone Dry Dune sucks. D tier. Bowser's Castle... Okay, let me... Okay. Lem Bone Dry Dunes is just a desert course. It's not anything super crazy. I, I respect that it's not the same exact desert course that they've been doing with Mario Kart for like 20 years, but like you just throw a red filter over everything and, and just it, it's brand new now. I do like the big Dry Bowser cave. I think that's a cool set piece, but I just never want to play on Bone Dry Dunes. Bowser's Castle. In terms of Bowser's castles, it's a little generic. I like the anti-gravity section with Bowser punching the the sides and it kind of like snakes. Um, it's it's a good one. It's not a great one. I'd put it above Piranha Plant Slide. I don't usually pick it, but I don't hate it. That's the thing. When, if you're in B tier, I don't usually pick you, but I wouldn't be opposed to playing you. I'm not going to be mad if it pops up in random or anything. So yeah, B tier for Bowser's Castle. B for Bowser. Uh, Cloudtop Cruise. Really fun. I love the Mario Galaxy music. Anytime you throw in Mario Galaxy music in anything, it's just like, oh. Oh, it's so good. Just Gusty Gardens. Cloudtop Cruise has a little airship section. You fly through the thundercloud. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to put you below Music Park, but that's okay. Dolphin Shoals. Dolphin Shoals is a course that I didn't really love until very recently. I, I don't think it was until I like heard the music all the way through that I was like, damn, they went crazy for Dolphin Shoals! I guess my main gripe with Dolphin Shoals is that it just... You don't get to hear that amazing music because it changes when you go underwater. And that's like the best part of Dolphin Shoals is the underwater parts. And you don't get to hear the good music, so it's just like constantly fighting back and forth, but it's still a damn fine track. I'm putting it in B tier because I don't usually pick it. When I say pick, I, I mean like online. If I'm playing online and there's three courses put next to each other, I'm not usually a Dolphin Shoals type of guy, but I, I'm i not opposed to it. I think it's a fun course, and I know it has its fans. I'm kind of one of them. I'm not... You're not going to see me with a Dolphin Shoals t-shirt walking down the street. But Dolphin Shoals is definitely better than Cheap Cheap Beach. This, it's just generic. It's just a generic Mario Kart DS course. They were kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel here for Retro Tracks to remaster. Um, yeah, it's, it, I don't hate it. It's, it's kind of DK Jungle level for me where I'm just like, eh. It's... I'm gonna be like, oh man, cheap cheap beach, but I'm not gonna be legitimately angry or anything. It goes in C tier. C for cheap cheap. TikTok clock. <laughs> I'm gonna make a lot of people mad here. I'm not the biggest TikTok clock fan. I know a lot of people love this course, and I think the main reason why I don't love it is because of the music. Because I judge Mario Kart tracks a lot based off their music, and, and TikTok clock is just. It doesn't have it doesn't swell to any sort of point it just kind of goes you know what i mean TikTok clock is not a bad course by any means i'm putting it in b tier it, a lot of people put this thing in s tier and like for me it's it's not that great but i don't hate it i think it's fine i i would pick it sometimes i think it's fun 
Warrior Stadium is... I, I'm starting to realize that Mario Kart DS doesn't have super great tracks. I don't like Warrior Stadium that much either. I'm gonna throw Wario Stadium in C tier. Not the biggest Wario Stadium guy. I think there's better stadiums by better characters that start with W. And I think Wario Coliseum would have been a way cooler pick than Wario Stadium. Wario Coliseum hasn't come back. What's up with that? Maybe in Mario Kart 9. Electrodrome is one of the best courses in Mario Kart 8. It takes... It takes Music Park and says, fuck it, dubstep. So... Hey, I, I'm always down to play Electrodrome. It's one of my favorite courses of all time. It goes in S tier. It's wonderful. Mario Circuits. GBA. It's kind of on that... It's kind of on that DK Jungle level. That It's just... I think I like it a little bit... Do I like it more than D... No, I don't. It's just... It's just generic. It's just a generic Mario Kart course. Which, I mean, they, they really tried to spice it up. I love the Ultra Hands that go under the course to make it anti-gravity. I think that's such a cool touch, but that's the only part of this course that like feels different. The rest of it is just Mario Kart Super Circuit course. So yeah, C tier. Dry Dry Desert. Guess where this goes. It go I, I, I don't like this course. I'm not a big fan of desert courses, except for one exception, which we'll get to later. Dry Dry Desert is generic. I'm not a huge fan of the Oasis section that they added. I appreciate they were trying to change things up, but I kind of prefer the original GameCube version to the Mario Kart 8 version. Yeah, they, they even took away like, okay. I, I guess another big thing is they also took away that cool piranha plant in the middle and you just kind of die. And I feel like that was such, that was so lazy of them. Like it, it that was one of the coolest parts. That's what I remember from Dry Dry Desert, and I can't even see that on Dry Dry Desert. There's... It's just not good. Sherbert Land. Sherbert Land is... Yeah, a lot of the retro tracks in Mario Kart 8 were just kind of... Eh. I'm, I'm starting to see that now. I don't hate Sherbert Land. I like it better than DK Jungle. I think it's a... It's it's pleasant. I don't usually pick it. I like the music. It's very... It's very... It's very relaxing. The underwater sections are cool. I think they did enough to justify it coming back. But yeah, you're still going in C tier. Mario Circuits. I'm not I prefer Mario Kart Stadium to this one. I don't know why we needed Mario Kart Stadium and Mario Circuit. I feel like Mario Kart Stadium is this game's Mario Circuit, but they were like, nah, we just gotta make Mario Circuit, but it's figure eight. Also, why isn't figure eight circuit back in this game? It's called it's called figure eight. Where's figure eight circuit? So Mario Kart Circuit, it suffers from that generic Mario course aesthetic. It tries to be cool with the anti-gravity, but I'm just like, eh. I don't, I'm not opposed to it, but I'm just going to put it below Piranha Plant Slide. I just wish it was cooler aesthetically. Mario Kart Stadium is really cool. I know this, a lot of people don't like Mario Kart Stadium for some reason, but I love the atmosphere. That is the best thing. You hear the, the big band swelling. You hear... You see all the lights, the, the cameras, the city in the background. It is amazing. It is a great first impression for what is Mario Kart 8. This is going in A tier. I love Mario Kart Stadium. Mount Wario is probably one of the best Mario Kart courses of all time. It's definitely going in S tier. Never turn down Mount Wario. Mount Wario is... It's just groundbreaking in terms of what it can do for Mario Kart courses. I know there were courses in Mario Kart 7... That did a similar thing, like Makawuhu uh, did it. I love Makawuhu, actually. I think it's one of the cooler courses. But Mount Wario takes that concept and expands upon it. It's an easy S tier. I feel like no one's going to argue with me on that one. Rainbow Road N64. I love it aesthetically. I love the music. I love everything about it. But it took a problem from Rainbow Road, which was its length, and made it into another problem, being its length. Now, first, it was too long, now it's too short. I kind of wish they... Basically, they sectioned it off instead of instead of it being three laps around the whole Rainbow Road. It's basically three sections of one track, basically like the other Woohoo Island course in Mario Kart 7. I wish they just had it so you went around this course twice. I feel like that wouldn't have been too hard or too out there. It would have made the length just perfect it always feels like this course is over before it really starts and that makes me really sad because i love rainbow road and 64. it's still going to go in a tier because i will i will always pick this course it's a lot of fun but i just wish it it, it could have been more and you know what i'll put you over mario 
I'll put you over Mario Kart Stadium. That's how strong this course is. The only thing I like that I don't like about it is that it ends. Royal Raceway. Royal Raceway is... It's alright. I don't hate it. I don't super love it. I never really pick it. It's... I always kind of forget it's there. I know this, this course has its fans. I'm not one of them. Uh, we're going to put this above Sherbert Land. No, under Sherbert Land. It's a C tier course for me. You can kind of see the general vibe of all these courses. They're all just kind of generic. This is the ice one. This is the jungle one. This, this, okay, let me say one more thing about DK Jungle. It really made me mad that there wasn't a Tropical Freeze inspired DK course in this game, despite the fact that it came out like a year after DK C Tropical Freeze. And I feel like DK Jungle was just kind of a cop out in that regard. But we're not talking about DK Jungle. I don't know why I went on that tangent. Toad's Turnpike. I like Toad's Turnpike. I think it's fun, but I don't usually pick it. it, it again, it just kind of feels... Something about it was... Like, the magic of it was kind of lost in between the transition from N64 to Mario Kart 8. I don't know what... I think it's the fact that you can ride on the walls, so you're not forced to be stuck in between the cars. And I feel like the cars go a little slower. I never find myself getting hit by the cars. And that was always the, the real fun part of Toad's Turnpike, was that it was just chaotic. It kind of loses the chaos now that we can ride on the walls, now that the cars actually travel on the right side of the road. It's still not a bad course, it's fine, but it kind of does suffer from that generic jank of all these courses. I wish it could be better. I'll put it at the top of C tier for now. No... No, no, I think Toad's Turnpike is a B-tier course. I think that's fair. I think that will appease the Toad's Turnpike fans. I... It's it's fine. I like it. I'll, I'll play it. I'm not going to be mad if it shows up. Yoshi Valley. This is another course that I feel like... The magic was kind of lost in between Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart 8. A lot of the fun of Yoshi Valley is not knowing who the hell was in first place, and it you just know who the hell is in first place. Now, you still have all those branching paths, but one of them is, like, pretty clearly the fastest one, and because of that, you just kind of play the same course over and over again. I do think it's really cool how you have all those branching paths, and I wish more Mario Kart courses would do that in general. Uh, like, non-linear Mario Kart, that's, that's kind of wild. It's still a lot of fun, even though kind of that magic has been lost. It's still a really solid course. I'm going to put it in the top of B tier. I know a lot of people don't like Mario Kart 8's version of Rainbow Road, and I was kind of one of them at first. I thought it was not as good as past Rainbow Roads, but it's it's grown on me. It's definitely grown on me. It's, it's an easy A tier. I'll put it above Mario Kart Stadium. I think it's one of the strongest courses in the game. I love the space station motif. They could have easily just did another weird Rainbow Road in space like Mario Kart 7's, which Mario Kart 7 has the best Rainbow Road in the game. I'm not trying to discredit Mario Kart 7's, but after seeing Double Dash to Wii to 7, they wanted to switch it up a bit, and I, I'm, I'm okay with what they did, especially since you can play two other Rainbow Roads if you're not satisfied with that one. So yeah, A tier. I like Mario Kart 8 Rainbow Road. Put a bullet in my head. Shy Guy Falls. I always kind of forget Shy Guy Falls is there, but I always enjoy playing it when I get it. Shy Guy Falls, it has a really fun section with a waterfall. You're going up the waterfall, and then you're going down the waterfall. It's one of the best courses to show off Mario Kart 8's Zero Gravity gimmick. Because of that, I'm going to throw it right in between Yoshi Valley and Dolphin Shoals. I'm not usually the one to pick it, but when it is picked, I'm like, okay, yeah, Shy Guy Falls. That's fun. I like Shy Guy Falls. Don't have planes 3. Wow. It's fucking Donut Plains 3. They could have done something cool with it, but they didn't. You can kind of fall off the bridge, I guess. That's cool. D tier. But it's better than the desert courses. I never want to play on Donut Plains 3, but it is kind of pleasant. Because the wa the water... The water's nice. It's got nice water. That's the, be that's the best thing I could say about Donut Plains 3. Sunshine Airport. Sunshine Airport. I like Sunshine Airport a lot, and I feel like it comes up a lot when playing online in Mario Kart 8. It's a really fun course. I love the Super Mario Sunshine references. I love that it kind of keeps that theme of making the Mario Kart world connected. You haven't really seen 
an interconnected Mario Kart world since Mario Kart Double Dash, all the stages kind of feel segmented. Sunshine Airport makes this world feel cohesive, and because of that, and it's stellar track design and music, it's going in A tier. It's one of the most, when I think Mario Kart 8, I think Sunshine Airport. Sweet Sweet Canyon, this is compared a lot to Sugar Rush from Wreck-It Ralph, and for good reason, it looks like Sugar Rush from Wreck-It Ralph. It's a lot of fun, I like it a lot. Good music, good atmosphere, not too long, branching paths, a lot of fun. I don't know what else I could say about it. I like the I like the cake. I could definitely see myself picking this course if it comes up in random online. I'm gonna put it in A tier. It's a lot of fun. Thwomp Ruins, really cool course. I don't usually pick it, but like, it's cool. I don't mind it. This track does a really good job of introducing the gimmicks of Mario Kart 8 right in that little middle section because you can either go off the ramp on the middle you can go on the water or you can go on the walls with anti-gravity and that's the three things that really make mario kart 8 mario kart 8. it's in the first cup too and it's a really solid it's a really solid end to that cup so because of that i'm gonna put it in b tier not because like it it could easily be put in a tier but i'm never the one to play i'm never the one who's like yes let's play thwomp ruins i'm like okay yeah sure thwomp ruins cool toad Har <laughs> oh my god i love toad harbor toad harbor is like the one course that i i really associate mario kart 8 with summer a lot because that's just kind of when it came out and toad harbor feels like summer it feels like school's out and you are going to go home and play mario kart 8 for the nintendo wii u and it feels good I love every single part of Toad Harbor. I love how you jump over the ship at the beginning, and then you go through the market, and then you go on the wall, and then, oh, it's so much fun. I, I love it. It's It just makes you feel like a kid again. You feel like summer, school's out, nothing can hurt you. Toad Harbor at easy S tier. One of my favorite courses. Twisted Mansion. Twisted Mansion, I feel like it doesn't really nail its concepts. Like, it really should be this big, like, spiraling, Tim Burton-esque... Like, you, you have this anti-gravity section, but it's underwater, and it's like, you could have done so much more with that. I'm not the biggest fan of Twisted Mansion. I feel like it's not a terrible course, but it definitely, it feels generic to me, and it really shouldn't, because it has a lot going for it. I do like this section at the end with the knights who, like, chop down their axes. I think there could have just been more. You could have, like, gone on the side of these, like, bookshelves or something in a big spooky library. It doesn't really feel like a mansion. It feels like a hallway and then a underwater dungeon. It, I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan. I like the outside, though. I like the little Boo up there. He looks very happy. Water Park. I don't... Is there something wrong with me? Like, I don't like Water Park. Maybe it's just the name. If it was called, like, Wario Water Park or Waluigi Water Park or something, maybe I'd like it more. But it just... It feels so generic, and I don't know why. Like, it, it, it has this really cool aesthetic. You have this big, like, sub-coaster thing going on. You have this really cool, like, underwater teacup part. But it just feels boring. I don't... I, I think it might be the music. It has, like, this generic su new Super Mario Brothers water level music sound. And it's not, like, terrible, but it doesn't feel exciting. It feels like a leisurely stroll. It doesn't... I don't know. It, I'm not a huge fan of Water Park. It feels like one of the less cool courses in Mario Kart 8, which is a shame because it could have been so much more. Like, there's not even a water slide in this one. There could have been a water slide. What do you think of when you think of water parks? You think of water slides, and they could have been so cool on a course, but no. Gravel Volcano sucks. I'm not, I don't like it. It's worse than Donut Plains. There's just something about it. I'm not like the biggest fan. It should be cool, but it's not. I didn't like it in Mario Kart Wii, and I'm not a huge fan of it in Mario Kart 8. Nothing more to be said about that. It's just, it does, I don't love it. Moo Moo Meadows is amazing. Fucking S tier. I, it's, it's one of the most pleasant courses to look at, to listen to, to play. It's just simple. It doesn't need to be crazy. It doesn't need to have any super big gimmick. They add the little, they add the little glider at the end, and I think it's a nice little addition. It's not a super crazy course, and I can see why a lot of people don't love it but it just makes me happy i i will never turn down the chance to play moo moo meadows Ooh, we're getting to dlc land now neo bowser city yeah like i, I like it i i'm gonna put it above TikTok clock for some reason people really don't like this course but i think it's i think it's fine i think it has a lot of cool elements i love the dreary just rainy aesthetic i don't know how bowser paid for an entire city uh, let, let alone a neo one but uh i like it i think it's fine animal crossing 
I like how this course has four different variations. It's it, I, if you if you haven't guessed, I tend to choose a lot. A lot of my course preference comes down to music because that's like a th I don't know. I I'm at a point with Mario Kart 8 where I have the track layouts memorized so much that I really just kind of go on autopilot and just listen to the music while I play. And, you, and Animal Crossing has four different, like, really pleasant music tracks, and they mix in all these great themes from the Animal Crossing series. The course itself is a lot of fun, if not a little bit short. I love how you can hit the little rock and you get the money rock, and it's just like, ooh, that's... They didn't have to do that, but it's awesome. You get a little mushroom from it. Uh, it it's definitely one of my favorite courses. I'm going to put it above the Rainbow Roads. It's a lot of fun. Big Blue. Big Blue, Big Blue. All the F-Zero courses are freaking dope, too. Uh, I'm going to put it in S-Tier, because it makes me happy, and you go fast. And especially in 200cc, it's like Nintendo almost made an F-Zero game, but they didn't. Anyway, so we're going to Dragon Driftway now. Really cool. I, I feel like I've just been saying, like, yeah, this course is cool, but, like, what am I supposed to say? It's... You go through this cool, like, Chinese-inspired temple and has a, a lot of fun music, a lot of twists and turns. This course on 200cc is a goddamn nightmare, but I don't care. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to put you in A tier. You make me happy, Dragon Driftway. Actually, I'll put you above Mario Kart Stadium. Excite Bike Arena is easily an S tier stage. It, you just jump off the little ramps and, oh my god, it's so much fun. It's such a simple course. It's like, you take something like Baby Park, which is also in here, but you make it slightly longer and you add a fuck ton of jumps and it's just amazing. It's one of my favorite courses. The music is a lot of fun. Yeah, e easy. I, I will pick this course. I'll put it above Big Blue, actually. I love it. And you know what, Toad Harbor, you go below all that. Because I like Toad Harbor, but it ain't no Big Blue or various other courses that are above it. Cheese, <laughs> cheese land. Oh, cheese land. Cheeseland is the good desert course. They took a super circuit course and they made it actually cool, which is something that Mario Circuit didn't. It's, it, they take this, ah, oh, it's so much fun. You got all this cheese around you, and I know a lot of people say it doesn't take the concept far enough, but I mean, they're working with an N, or, or a GBA course, so. The fact that it's basically, like, it feels like a new course, and it's just such a weird, crazy concept. Like, it's not just a desert, it's cheese. It makes me happy. We're going in eights here. Cheese land, easy. Easy cheese land. Easy, freaking cheesy. Ooh, Ribbon Road. Ribbon Road is, it, yeah, that's S tier. Easy. Ribbon Road is S tier. Ribbon Road is like, it takes, the, I consider it a fourth Rainbow Road because it has those sections where you can easily fall off. It's just, it's a difficult course. It has such a cool aesthetic. Not to say that the original course didn't have a cool aesthetic, but again, Super Circuit, it has such a weird it's super circuit's a weird game so when they adapt courses from super circuit i'm always excited to see what they do and they adapted this perfectly it feels like you're like a little it feels like you're a little matchbox car in a kid's room and that's i mean obviously that's what they're going for so yeah easy s tier love the music a lot of fun baby park baby park had a bit of a redemption arc i keep accidentally rhyming i, I don't know why i keep doing that baby park is like it was crazy in Mario Kart Double Dash because of all the crazy items. Then they brought it back in Mario Kart DS and it only had five laps and it was boring and it sucked. And then they brought it back in this game and it's anti-gravity now. So you're just bumping into people all over, the, all over the place. You're running into each other. There's items flying everywhere. There's bananas. There's... Oh, it's, it, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to put it in A tier. I'm going to put it above Sunshine Airport. I love Baby Park. Especially... 200cc Baby Park is insane. It, it's over in like three seconds. But it's it's amazing. I'm so glad they brought back Baby Park. Yoshi Circuit. Really good course. I've always liked Yoshi Circuit. And we get to hear the Mario Kart Double Dash like whistling sounds mixed with the Mario Kart 8 Jazz soundtrack. And it's like, yes, this is it. This is what we've been needing. It's a beautiful course. It's a lot of fun. It didn't really change a whole lot of the course layout, but it didn't really need to. I think it's a solid course all around. It was, it, weirdly enough, it was also remade in Mario Kart DS. So I don't know. In the DLC, they just decided to start remaking a lot of courses. And if I'm, I feel like I'm crazy, but was Dry Dry Desert also in Mario Kart DS? Was it? Hold on. No, it wasn't. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I. It, it, anyways, Yoshi Circuit, awesome course. I'm going to put you in the top of B tier. No, you're, no, you're an A tier. I will pick Yoshi Circuit. 
Hyrule Circuit. Yes. Yes. Hyrule Circuit is dope. One of the qu I, I love all the crossover courses. I hope they go further with it in the next Mario Kart. I'm not saying to make a str like straight up like Super Smash Brothers card or Nintendo card or whatever, but I feel like they can keep adding these cameo elements. I'd love to see a Kirby a Kirby thing in there, a Kirby course, a Kirby character. That would be amazing. Hyrule Circuit, yeah. Uh, I'll put it above. No, I I like I like Toad Harper more. Hyrule Circuit's cool, but like. It doesn't give me the the pure like joy of Toad Harbor. You know, Toad Harbor, you go. I'm having a hard time placing Toad Harbor, because like it makes me very happy, but also like Big Blue is just like a crazier, more fun course. But also Toad ha Toad Harbor makes me happy, so I don't know. Ice Ice Outpost is it's all right. I think it's I think it's kind of fun. Um, I I wouldn't be opposed to playing it. It's definitely a, a solid beat here. I'll put it above Neo Bowser City. Um, Mute City, right up there. I can't... Do I like Big Blue or do I like Mute City more? Hmm. I'm gonna say I like Big Blue more, because Mute City... It, Big Blue just builds upon the concept of Mute City. It, it does... It, it's the three... It's the, uh... It, it kind of has a Mount Wario approach to it, which I like a bit more. So yeah, Mute City, you can go right under Mount Wario. Uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. Um... This is the random. And I still like it better than, than Donut Plains. So you're going there. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. This is all the Rainbow Roads are rest here. Oh wait, no, they aren't. They're all eight here. But this one, hmm, is this S tier? Yeah, it's S tier. It's Ness Rainbow Road in this game is beautiful. It's one of the nicest courses to look at, like visually. I love it. it it's an easy S tier. I, which is weird because I'm not a super big fan of Ness Rainbow Road in Mario Kart Seven, but like. For some reason, just seeing it on this, like, beautiful night sky in this field, it's not even in space, it's just kind of floating above some random field in the Mario world, and it is beautiful. That's an S tier for me. I love this course. Super Bell Subway? I know, yeah, it's 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 good. It's it's an A tier for me. I like Super Bell Subway a lot more than a lot of other people. Um, I guess the one thing that irks me about it is there's this nice little, like, musical twang it has when you're above grounds. And I'm never at the point where I can hear the little musical twang because of the fact that it changes to this, like, underground theme when you're below grounds. And I never get to hear this part until, like, it's sped up at the end. And it just makes me sad because I love how it sounds. Yeah, it, it's a solid course, though. I'm going to put you in... I'll put you above Baby Park. I like Super Bell Subway. Yes. Wario's Gold Mines. One of, this course is awesome. I didn't really love it in Mario Kart Wii, but for some reason in this game, I love it. It's, I feel like the fact that it kind of feels a bit wider. You don't, it also incorporates anti-gravity elements. So instead of getting hit off the stage, like constantly by your opponents, you're, you're just getting boosted forward. And I love that aspect. The music uh, as a live performance is like with real instruments is amazing. Warriors Goldmine, that's an easy S tier for me. I will always pick Warriors Goldmine. I feel like I've said I will always pick a million times this video. Making videos is hard. And finally, Wild Woods. Kind of a, a dud to end on. It's not that it's a bad course. It's just not anything amazing. I'm gonna say it's a B tier. I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna put it between Thwomp Ruins and Yoshi Valley. I like Wild Woods, but I don't love Wild Woods. It's a really cool but it doesn't really reinvent the wheel or anything. You're going up a big tree, which is, I, I guess, is a good use of the anti-gravity section, but as a DLC course, it's kind of like, why? And with that, we have officially ranked every single course in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. With that being said, please leave your tier list down in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.